here comes the 25 year old born on Anzac Day 1993 in Aberdeen Scotland and his father Graham who drives the trucks around Scotland overnight hopefully knocked off his shift in time to watch his son make his debut for the country of his birth now a little shorter on numbers defensively Lebanon chance for Martin Boyle to have a look at goal Boyle deflection in the breakthrough arrives. Martin Boyle has his first international goal for Australia, courtesy of the deflection. 1-0 in Sydney. And reward for his positive early play, the Scotsman turned Australian. Well, Caledonian he may be by birth and upbringing, but he keeps doing this. He'll be as Aussie as the Tim Tam. Great stuff. He's been the highlight for the Socceroos in these opening stanzas. And it did take the deflection, but it was going to cause some serious trouble for goalkeeper Cahill anyway. And the deflection is totally done for Mody. Khalil to a ball, I'm sure, be claiming that. There we are, hasn't taken him long to make his mark, has it? He's found it a real challenge, but he's stood up to that challenge. Boy in towards the near post, glanced off the frame of the goal, and Martin Boyle says thank you very much. He has his second on the follow-up. Well, it was Degenek who made an excellent run, and Boyle was quickest to react. Well, I don't know what he's waiting for. It's 21 minutes since he scored. Martin on the spot, Lebanon don't deal at all with the corner defensively, and the rebound is very kind to Australia's newest, Martin Boyle. Well, he could hardly miss from there, but a new hero, perhaps, developing for Australia on the night when they've come to pay homage to perhaps their greatest ever goal scorer. Martin Boyle has backed a brace on his starting debut. Forget Tim, we've got Tim Tam. Midway points of the second half. Australia yet to add to their first half goal tally. Maybe Aaron Moy will do here. Martin Boyle. And Lecky! Well, he's only been on the pitch for a matter of moments, but he's made it 3-0 with an emphatic finish. Into the penalty area, stretched and won it nicely there, wanted it off Moy directly. Moy went to the right, and the Tim Tam man drops it on for Matt Lecky. Great half volley. Super stuff from the sub. Australia now three clear. Martin Boyle does add an assist to his two-goal tally. Set piece delivery, a feature of Hustich's game. Three assists for him. Off the bench against Chinese Taipei in a 7-1 win. Lifted in towards Lecky, who scored two against Kuwait last time he played them. And he's on the scoreboard early here, wearing the captain's armband again, Matthew Lecky. The goalkeeper didn't stand a chance. Pinpoint header from the skipper. Irvine across to the back post and Boyle does get his goal, a tap in and it's Australia 3, Nepal nil. and there's the smiles on the dials of the Hibs pair. Well Jackson Irvine has been playing well, he's linked up with his Hibs teammate beautifully here, it's a superb pass in behind the defence and having just said that Kiran hadn't been tested, he'll be disappointed that he couldn't clean up his six yard box there, Arik was rounded just expertly by Jackson Irvine who just threads a beautiful pass there, Martin Ball's run was positive timed perfectly in the finish just what was ordered in swinging corner Suta another international goal for Big Harry goal number six for his country and the tallest Socceroos outfield player ever is such a threat at set pieces and don't Jordan know it what an uphill battle now for Jordan as the Socceroos players celebrate, a couple of them have to go for the stepladder to ruffle the quaff and say, well done, Harry. Australia will come again. It's Adam Taggart this time. He has Mabil alongside. Taggart will go on his own. What a finish. In fact, it's Martin Boyle who found the corner of the goal past Yan Jun Ling. And Boyle's placement was perfect. It's brilliant play from Australia and a wonderful finish from Martin Boyle. Oh, Martin Boyle is banging in the goals for both club and country at the moment. Is that my almost? It was claimed by Wing as a, as a foul throw. 
cross in is a good one and the header and Australia are in front. Mitch Duke, what a fantastic ball in from the right-hand side. And with eight minutes to go before the half-time break, Australia have their goal. And well played Graham Arnold as well, who decided that Mitch Duke's presence up front was what was called for this evening. The ball into the near post, downward header, Australia 1, China 0. Martin Boyle again the provider, and it's a really strong header from Mitchell Duke at the near post, dealing with the situation and the defender and nailing the opportunity. It is a lovely ball in on the spot for Mitchell Duke. Irvine looking for the ball over the top and the run of Martin Boyle is quick. It's a really good first touch. That's got to be a penalty. Brilliant play by Martin Boyle. And around 10 minutes after Trent Sainsbury thought he'd given Australia the lead. Can Jamie McLaren finally do that? Of course, they had an early goal disallowed as well against Vietnam through Tommy Rogic. McLaren makes no mistake from the spot. Goals in back-to-back -back games for his country and his seventh in qualifying for this World Cup and the Socceroos lead in Moscow. Well, it's an assured penalty from Jamie McLaren. Unsavable, actually. Brilliant work. But the goal is solely down, really, to Martin Boyle. Just did an outstanding job to make something of that Jackson Irvine pass. The penalty conceded, the penalty dispatched by Jamie McLaren. He just took too long, hesitated a moment. It breaks for Rustic. Now Boyle and Lecky almost getting in each other's way Boyle into the area he's done brilliantly the comeback and the goal from Jackson Irvine and the Socceroos have the breakthrough seven and a half minutes into the second half and almost out of nothing broken play Martin Boyle providing the difference down the right hand side and Jackson Irvine who scored against the UAE in qualifying four years ago strikes again but Martin Boyle gets a chance to attack and pin the defenders back and it's the man out of midfield Jackson Irvine who bobs up on the near post this is great work from Martin Boyle the one-on-one -on -one situations have been too few and far between for Australia, but they've shown certainly through Boyle that when he gets the chance to turn and run at people, he can cause trouble and Jackson Irvine, such an ever-present in this team, out of midfield, to the near post and to the back of the net. A great moment for the Socceroos.